everyone and today I'm gonna show you in action how to do a 3D model from a text to image I just discovered. So today in this topic we're gonna talk more about what's happening in the sphere of AI 3D VFX and we're gonna jump right in to show examples of how to do that. So first we're gonna go into the 3D AI studio. So this platform here is a studio for image uh, to 3D. So we're gonna take a look here here you have like a very classic grid and stuff and we're gonna combine this with the mid journey so i did some try here with the crystal so i'm just gonna write a new prompt like so basically you need to have a text to image and a text to 3d so you go here and i'm typing like crystals because i i feel the shape are pretty cool so i'm just gonna create another bunch of crystals so i just have some here and when I get my results, I can definitely take one of those and have a try. So I just have this one popped up, but I'm gonna just do a new one just to show you from a new stuff. So let's try the third one and the second one, uh, just to have some complex geometry to work with and see how far I can model from that. So let's go here, open a new browser, download the image. That's it. And now, on the 3D AI Studio, we're gonna upload the image we just downloaded. Here, and I have the last one. And we're gonna generate. So basically, this is kind of the new pipeline you can do now on the 3D apps and the 3D sphere to create really, really fast some 3D model. So it's pretty cool because if you have some good pictures and you have some good reference, you can really achieve a very nice result and achieve some really, really stunning look using this combo. So that's something I, I really want to show because I believe it's gonna be a very a revolution in terms of the molding side and even for the texturing side because you can have some texture projection based on the image. So let's see what we get now, generating the model. Um, so for now, this app comes with like 60 credits. I'm sure you can unlock more if you pay. And obviously for me, Johnny comes with a subscription, but same, you have some free to play and there is some free text to image you can use and that's really like to show more for the users uh, having some budget and wanting to try some stuff so as you see here we have quite a cool geometry from the from the image right it's really like a projection but it's really try to add some look and stuff and you also at the bottom so let's download that here so it comes as a gbl model and now we're gonna jump into blender so let's go in blender um, now blender open so the glb format is quite a, a raw format like not every app can use so i just figured out blender can open it so we're gonna open in blender we can always export later on from blender okay so i'm just going into blender uh, it's gonna be a bit cut here so yeah, just like this um yeah nice and we're just gonna drag and drop now we're gonna import here a GLB, so it's a GLTF kind of format here, and we have the new object here. And this is quite like what we have at the beginning, we're just gonna download the basic queue. And if you see on the GLB, there is the wireframe actually in the node. So we're just gonna move the wireframe here, so we're just gonna go in object mode, press G. And move the wireframe like this. So we don't really need the wireframe for now. And now when we're going to shading, we can see we already have the texture applied because the GLP just um, this extension gives a base color on the BIGF. And now you can see how fast you can generate an image, uh, a 3D content from an image. You know? So you already have some shading here and you can always after play with some you know, roughness, um, see if it goes. And obviously you can change the shadow if you want something else, but that's a solid, solid base. You see how fast I generate the 3D model now using this technology. So it's like a very nice combination of, you know, art, concept art, and also generation of the stuff. And after, if you want to um, maybe export this for another software we're gonna do here 
maybe a classic FBX for Maya. Uh, we don't care about the name, we're just gonna call this Crystal. And we're gonna export a bit. So I'm just gonna launch quickly another. That's it. So we have a crystal here. Um, we're gonna download. So we're just gonna put this on the download folder. So we jump into a Maya, so I have a very old Maya, Maya 2022, um, and I'm just going to import from here. So here, I'm going to import, uh, let's go on the folder, we just export this. Here, and we're just going to drag and drop on our scene. And we have the ABX ready pretty cool and from that you know we can always either do a retopology or something else but we have the object ready from you know the, the image so very powerful combo have a look have a try and if you need more tips and tricks about 3d visual effects uh, please don't hesitate to ask me and if you want another type of tutorial like this uh, don't hesitate to type on the comments so thank you for watching